Well, welcome back to the channel guys. This is gonna be part two of the truck camping series here. We're still here at the dam. Luke is down there fishing somewhere. But we had a lot of time to kill until the night bite. Um, so we decided to mess around down there and see how it goes. And I caught a fish and Luke hooked up with one. We didn't bring the cameras down because we didn't have much hope. The current time right now is 2.23 midday. The both sides of the dam are ripping of current. So uh, we kind of figured we might as well mess around and see if we can't catch anything. And sure enough, I hooked up and Luke caught one. So that is a great start. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and warm. It's sunny, nothing better. And I don't know. I guess I'll go grab the GoPro and we can start fishing for a little bit, see if we can't catch any more. I think the audio might be a little cheeks, but here's Luke. What, what are you doing up here, buddy? I'm going to get my camera. Oh. Fish are biting. Did you catch one? I missed another one and then I just caught one. Hey, hey let's it's, go. It's late, dude. Hey. No, I got, what do you need? Oh, your camera. I, oh yeah. Yeah, I did. All right. Well, anyways, uh, Luke's clapping. I'm clapping. I don't know. I'll show you guys what we're doing. We're doing something a little bit different than yesterday. Ooh, ankle. Oh. We are working with a, I think, three, three quarter ounce jig head. It's a green guy. I've never used these jig heads before. We just picked some up actually at the store. And we're still working with a white split tail. And with this current ripping, you can cast way downstream. I'll show you guys what we're doing. We're casting it way downstream. So current will take it and your lure will sit down on bottom way out here. And then basically you just kind of do short pops. You want to keep it down near bottom because these fish are trying to stay away from the current. And uh, I mean, the water is still pretty cold. So they're going to be down near bottom. They're just going to pop it at short pops, letting it sit there, letting it kind of just float down with the current because it is so fast. And these fish will just kind of pick it up whenever they want. Usually right on the end of the pops there, when it's just sitting there, or when it's going with the current. But as you guys can see, I ended up way down here. So the more you cast it downstream, the better off you are and the longer you'll be in the strike zone. Oh, we're just going to be repeating the process and see if we can't get any more of these fish. I don't really know if they're in the eating mood right now, if it's more kind of a reaction bite that we're getting with the popping action, I'm not really sure. So uh, we'll just kind of see what happens here. Hey! No, I, this is my second cast. That last fish I caught gave me a little boo-boo. It kind of hurts. It was a good fish too. Oh, Luke's hooked up. And it came off. I Of its snout. I had one right out of its mouth. And that would be a rock. Good. <laughs> Good rock. Good. Love snapping off. Yep, number one of the day. Luke and I snapped off probably like 20 times yesterday. Well, Luke snapped off 20 times yesterday. I snapped off probably three or four. Quick release. Okay. 
There's one. Ooh, this might be nice. I don't feel bad. Yeah! That one was way out there in the current. He might just feel big because he's, you know, in the current, but yeah, he's not bad. I don't think we're going to be keeping a lot of fish today, if any fish, probably none. But we choked it, that's why it felt so big. The color just eating that thing, just gone. And this ain't a small lure. Four inch little split tail, he's probably 14 inches. So you gotta be 15 here to keep anyways, and I don't think we're gonna be keeping fish. Ooh, I had one. Are there rocks or is getting tapped? Well, unfortunately, uh, the fish really didn't want to cooperate with us when we we're down there. We caught a couple midday. I mean, it's not bad for being midday. I think we would have caught more if they didn't open up the other gate. But hey, it is what it is. We can't control it. Uh, that being said, we are going to cook some lunch we caught some fish yesterday and we filleted them up and uh, we saved them because we had burgers last night and we're gonna eat fish for a nice little lunch here a little pre-game meal Luke you caught a couple fish down there I did two fish two or three fish good. I missed two or three yeah it was good like Sam said until they opened that gate and then the current sucked it was like unfishable so hopefully they shut that off soon come here Oh yeah, what do we got? We're gonna need the butter. Then we're gonna need our lovely fish fillets. All right, we got the good old grill. She's looking nice and gross looking, but uh, we're gonna turn this on. That generous enough? That's pretty generous, yeah. Shall I flip the other side and get it more generous? Yeah, you shall. Luke's gonna have two over here and I'm gonna have two over here. We're just gonna down on tin foil and we're seasoning them with, what is this? Ultimate steak and roast rub. We pretty much just bought the cheapest stuff at the store we could find. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully, it, I, don't, I mean, it's probably not going to be bad. All right, we got our butter on the fish. Uh, a lot of butter will go a long ways, um, especially to make something taste good. So uh, we, we, we doused her pretty good there. We're just going to close this up. Very cheap tin foil. Butter. Well, we got the fish on the grill. Luke's bathering his up in butter. That's a lot That's of That's like butter, a man. half a jar of butter right there. Cool. Yeah, now we just let them cook for about two or three minutes each side and flip them and they'll be ready to go. I'm excited. Well, here's a fish. It's looking a little bland. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look that good. That oh, let me see. Let me, let me see a handful of these. Ooh, crumble that You know what we're going to do? Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you just, oh, ooh. Good. Make it look a little more appetizing. <laughs> Just, I don't know, what? that could be really good or you just ruined your walleye. I don't think it ruined it, if anything it probably made it better. It's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely nice white and flaky though. Holy cow, look at that. Mmm. Ain't that pretty? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cheers. Mm. Doritos are good with it. I'm not gonna lie. The Doritos are good. Really? But, I don't know about the steak seasoning. Yeah. The steak seasoning was like, eh. I could have, yeah. I kind of saw that going bad when we got it. We didn't have many options though. There was no. like maple or like. It was either barbecue. It was really weird, yeah. Or like, super weird. It was like a bunch of like rib and dry rub seasoning. It's not bad overall. I mean, going for another bite here. I mean, the meat's good. It's nice, white, and flaky. I think the seasonings were just kind of botched, but. No, steak seasonings are no bueno. Uh, hopefully our tummies will get full here soon and we'll hop across the river and start fishing. Well, you guys have not seen Luke or I in a long time. Uh, we finally moved it here to the other spot and 
we got one walleye and uh, we thought we were gonna cape a couple so we got one in the net we did bleed him out so he's just chilling in the water where it's nice and cold but the dam has not turned off yet and Luke and I have lost a total of a couple lures I don't know how many lures but worth of how many those what there are seven bucks a pack eight 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 dollars for a pack of three jig heads and we lost nine of them so that's good and you like to get snagged a lot yeah I got snagged like three times over here something like that you got snagged what twice yeah it's two it's not been it hasn't been a good day it was going so good over there way earlier like hours ago and then they decided to open up that gate and it was just like crappy day not really usually bad, usually the dam turns off at around 10 ish but it seems like we're gonna have to wait till 10 to catch fish uh, we might we might catch a couple here I don't know oh, once the sun goes down but it's just a waiting game so we'll uh, get back to fishing here in just a little bit Ooh, it do sound like that water is still ripping Luke you know why why because that water is still ripping Sam Ooh, good well, current time is like 9.55 or 9.50 something. The dam usually shuts off around 10, so uh, that is what we're waiting for. But we got some special guests. Mr. Blake, Blake the Sniper from like three years ago. It's been a hot minute since you've been on the channel, but you're the one that actually told me about this spot. So huge shout out to you. And we finally got the man here. It sounds like it's ripping more. We also got Chase, so Chase is here. Oh, dude, it closed. Oh, it did. It did shut oh. off. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, closing. That was the other one. That was the other one closing. All right. The dam is finally shut off. The boys are lining up. We're getting ready to go fishing. You got to come in the bag here and grab a plastic real quick. It might take a while for the fish to make it back upstream here, but they did just turn off. You never know. You never know. Ooh, where's a good rock? Ooh, I see a nice flat one. Ooh, that's ice on my eyelids. Yeah, I got some. There we go. This one. Ate it on the drop, dude. Feels nice and heavy. It's a solid fish. Not a bad one. We'll take them. First one of the night for me. Beautiful walleye. We'll throw them in the net. Is it time for the stinger hooks, brother? Here we go. No, that's 15 though. That's 15 all day. That's like a 17, 16 at least. Ooh, second one of the night. It's pretty nice and... Ooh, I could rock. grab him, and there he goes. You guys can probably see him in the water. See ya. That would have been an eater, too. That's unfortunate. There's always more fish to catch. There's one on the drop, dude. That seems to be the only time I can get one to bite. Maybe I gotta slow down my presentation. I think that might be it. I might just be too eager and too excited to get out there and catch fish. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. He choked it too. Well, I guess he shouldn't say choked it, but he got it pretty good. Oh, well, yeah. That is a beautiful South Dakota walleye. Probably a good 16 and a half, 17 inch fish, maybe. Or a paddle fish. We're gonna say it's a fat walleye. Oh, there's one. There we go. Yep, slowing it down was better for me. Okay, I was going too fast. Ooh, this feels 
I don't know. I say they feel heavy every single time, but I'm sure it's just digging in the current. Oh, it's a little one too. We're probably gonna throw him back. Cutting it pretty darn close. There's one on the job. Yep. Okay, now, now I'm kind of getting it figured out. Okay, for a while there, I wasn't... I don't know what happened, Luke. I I wasn't doing too hot. This one feels small. But you never know. He's not bad. I don't think he'll keep, though. Oh, yeah, he'd keep. Ow, chill. My hands are cold, buddy. Do you not know that? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's a little skinny. I don't know. We'll throw him back though. Head to the right. Good one. Little guy. A lot of little head shakes. Not very ideal. But we'll take it. Those ones are freaking out in the net right now. No. Yeah, he might keep. He probably will keep. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to have to keep after that. We just donked him in the head. Not a bad one, by any means. Oh, yeah. They nice shabby one. I bet he'll keep. I will say that. I think so. Oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. All day long. Nice stout fish. Beauty of a fish too. Wow. Hell yeah. Big head shake though, which is unfortunate, but he's digging hard. Still digging really hard, oh my goodness. Oh, that's why I hooked him in the chin. Crushed it with his chin, look at that. Anyway, beautiful fish, we'll get him back out there. Well, this is where we're gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't anything really different than the last couple of videos I have posted. But with that being said, we haven't had much open water near my town. We've had to travel out here and John is in Green Bay right now. So that being said, I might go take a trip out there. It's probably gonna be another two weeks until we get open water around where I live. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.